Hello everyone and welcome to my shop. Today uh, we're going to be talking about another topic that you can do with a uh, with a signal generator, a signal tracer, and a vacuum tube voltmeter. Now today this experiment is just going to be how we can drive an analog AC voltmeter with an audio source which is a low voltage sine wave audio source and how we can use that in troubleshooting electronics and how you can apply it to aligning a radio receiver if you need if it says in the instructions to hook up a vacuum tube voltmeter to a radio receiver to align it and you have to peak the uh, the meter uh, deflection out here if we have to peak the deflection to go up to a certain degree and it falls back peak that how we can do that so audio uh, modulation is going to be achieved by my uh, my RF signal generator here is set to the audio output position. We're putting out a sine wave audio source. That's going over here. You follow this wire. It's going into the probe. This is the probe of the signal tracer up there, which is basically just a high gain audio amplifier. Okay? So right now, if we uh, turn up the volume on the tracer and then we turn up the uh, modulation control over here, we should hear a tone through the speaker. Let's try it out. Can you hear that? So we have an audio tone being produced through the loudspeaker of the tracer. And that can be used in troubleshooting if you need to inject a signal into a radio and then you follow that signal through the rest of the radio with a probe. And uh, right now, now that we've done that, we're going to take my uh, homemade test leads that I made here. We clip some alligator clips onto them and we're going to hook the vacuum tube voltmeter across the output of the audio signal and it ends right here so we're going to go up to our uh, vacuum tube voltmeter or our just regular voltmeter for the people that aren't so technical we're going to go ahead and connect the negative to the ground terminal and now the positive is going to go into the AC or ohms jack okay so now we have the meter properly connected up so if I turn up the modulation over here, we should now be able to cause this meter to deflect, deflect up the scale. Now since this is an analog meter, we need to be aware that this is polarity sensitive. So the positive of the voltmeter has to connect to the positive side of the probe, which is over here. If you reverse them, the meter is going to deflect uh, backwards. It's going to go like that. It's going to deflect negative. We want it to deflect above scale. So, you know, up scale. So that's how we uh, accomplish that. We have to have the right polarity. So we have the polarity right. This is set for 5 volts full scale. So that means if this meter is full scale, we have 5 volts being flowing through the circuit, which is going into the uh, tracer. So this is basically represents our load. And we'll just driving the meter with the original audio source back over here. Okay, so we're on the 5 volt scale. Let's go ahead and put a 2.5 volt uh, signal into it, and that's going to be right half scale. So right in the middle, we're going to go ahead and turn it up till we reach that point. Here we go. Turn that down so we don't overload the camera. So I hope you can see, if I change the lighting a little bit there, uh, didn't really help much, but I hope you can see that meter pointer. There's a glare in the meter. I'm sorry about that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get you a better look at that meter. As you can see, the meter pointer is pretty much halfway upscale. So that's how we do that. Okay, so if we drive this meter now with uh, a higher or a lower voltage, we can achieve different uh, deflections on that meter pointer. So let's bring it up right away up to 5 volts. We're going to put a big signal into this. Here we go. There we go. We have a very strong signal being pumped into the tracer, and the meter is right at full scale deflection, 5 volts. Let's turn this down. Okay, we have turned that all the way down. Now we're going to make this even more sensitive and put it on the 1.5 volt range. So this is that real low 
meter scale right here, 0 to 1.5 volts. So basically if you hook a D-cell battery up to this, or any battery for that matter, low voltage battery, not a 9 volt, but a regular AA cell, it's going to read right around 1.5 volt full scale. So if we want to put 0.5 of a volt into your radio or whatever you're working on, we can do that with this. So here we go, let's put 0.5 volts into this. And there we go. I'm adjusting the modulation over here, and we're adjusting the meter. As you can see, the meter moving there. It's very. So we put 0.5 volts right there. So now we have 0.5 volt worth of an audio signal, and you can see the I tube changing here as well. So we have 0.5 volts worth of an audio signal being fed out of the tr generator into the tracer. So now let's just put a volt into this. Here we go. I'll put one volt signal. There we go. Now we have an even stronger signal. We're putting out one volt into the uh, tracer. And what's good about this is you can actually measure how much of a signal you're ramping into whatever device you're working on so that you don't worry about overpowering the front end of a radio or an amplifier you may be troubleshooting. So that's why this technique is useful. So we're going to turn this down. And you're probably wondering, well, what if I don't have a vacuum tube voltmeter? Well, that's okay, because you can do this with a regular volt ohm meter as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Such as the triplet 630. So we put this to 3 volts AC, full scale now. So full scale on this meter is going to go to 3 volts. So if we want to put that same 1 volt signal in, we can easily do that with this. But what we have to do is we have to disconnect the vacuum tube voltmeter, and we have to bring our test leads over to the... Uh, to the triplet, model 630 volt ohm meter. So now when we raise the voltage, we're going to be watching this meter for it to rise right here. So maybe about a quarter, a quarter up full scale, right there, to the one volt position. So here we go. There we go. We're putting out one volt into this meter now. And uh, this thing goes to about maybe four or five volts. So let's just crank this up some more here. And this goes to right around 1.5 or so volts full scale right there. So three volts here. We have about 1.5 right there. That was full scale reading. That was on the old meter, the uh, vacuum tube voltmeter. We had the 1.5 volt full scale, but this is three volts. Let's turn that down. Tone's still there. Okay, so that pretty much, let's go to 12 volts now. Put it on 12 volt full scale and we'll dial it up some more. So this puts out a maximum of around, on the 12 volt range, so it puts out around 4 volts or so. 4 volts or so of a maximum audio drive from this generator. So that just goes to show you how you can drive an analog meter with a piece of equipment like this. If you feed a sine wave or a low voltage AC source into one of these meters, you can drive the meter and you can measure what you are putting into a radio receiver or amplifier or what else you might be injecting a, a signal in. So that's really about it. I, uh, I hope you found this somewhat useful uh, information to know. And uh, I hope if you need, have any questions about this, please let me know and I'll be uh, really uh, eager to answer them for you. And also, I just got another subscriber today, so I thank everyone who watches and subscribes to my channel because I try my best to do good quality videos and teach people things and just spread information. And I'm going to be doing uh, more videos in the future regarding radio repair and things in my shop here. I'll be demonstrating some more equipment and some more things you can do with this equipment and things that you can work on and some kind of re repair tips if you want to repair uh, your own radios or other electronics. So uh, I really hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I definitely made some improvements to my shop here. And I do apologize about that last video I uploaded. The audio quality was real poor because, like I said, I had a problem with the microphone, and I finally got that fixed. So if you guys would like me to, I can re remake that video showing how to check leakage on the uh, Night RC tester here. 
because I think that's another very important piece of equipment that everyone should try to have in their shop because this unit can test uh, capacitors such as this one for the value and it can also check for leakage. So I think that's a very important piece of equipment to have in the shop. So once again, I appreciate everyone watching my videos and I hope you learned something today. I will be uploading more often now, so thank you very much for watching and have a great day, everybody. Bye.